Back to double digits, 65-53, your halftime score. As uh, <clears throat> the Sixers are waiting for the winner of this series in Boston, trying to take a 3-1 lead as they play in Atlanta. American Express Halftime Report. Studio J here in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny the Jet, hey, Charles Park. Yes, sir. What did you think of the first half there, kid? Uh, I thought that Boston played uh, really, really well, but the Hawks getting good shots. They're just not shooting a good percentage. They're getting great opportunities. I like the way, I love it when they play faster because they have court offense stinks. But if they can just, I, they should play at a frenetic pace like the, the, the Sacramento Kings because they don't have a bunch of great individual one-on-one -on -one players. They got a bunch of good players. Only 37% in the first half for the Hawks who trail it by a dozen. Here are the American Express teammates. As the Celtics getting uh, 15 points out of Derek White. Knocked down three triples in the first half. Jason Tatum's got 13. Celtics shooting 50%. They're shooting 51% for the series. And let's start with the Celtics, Jet. Uh, question for Shaq and um, Chuck. Best two players on Boston? Jason and Jalen. Would you agree? Yes. Right. And when you and you and Kobe were the best two players on the Lakers, let me show you something. Oh, Kobe. I can't run. I got, oh! I got, I can't run. Oh! I got shoes on. Okay. I got shoes on. Okay. Ernie, I, I got shoes on. I don't care what you got on I your feet. I can't run with shoes. You man. are smoked salmon. I can't right run there, with man. shoes, man. I can't run Boy, with shoes. Are you shoes. taking L's? No, I didn't take L. I'm not running with shoes right. on. Yeah. Yo, you can't run with your Sunday clothes on. Right. That's what my mother told me. So, anyway. This is the difference between, but, but let's say, Jack, <laughs> Jack, you've never had this luxury. You are Kobe, the great late Kobe Bryant. So let's freeze it here. The best player on the court is Jason Tatum hiding in the corner, resting. You have Malcolm Brogdon with the ball. They say, play one-on-one. -on -one. You re we're going to relax. Jason's not even going to the rim. No activity, no action. Again, Malcolm with the ball up top. Jason. Go to the corner. Relax. Don't worry about it because we're not even looking. But you want us to swing it? We're not swinging it to you because one-on-one -on -one has not made any effort on the offensive end. Saving energy. This is what makes the Boston Celtics so great. Then, who has the second? Who's freezing there? Who's the second best player? Jalen Brown. He's over here. You can't even see him in the picture. We, so, he's relaxed. Relax. You got White, Derek White, knockdown shots. I've never seen a team that's been able to rest their players, their best two players, on multiple positions and possessions and not have to worry about fighting for offensive position or being part of a triangle offense even. 65-53 is your score. Atlanta being led by DeAndre Hunter. Yes, he's doing a great job of uh, operating in space. You know, he's taking advantage of Trey when he gets double teaming. That's what others are supposed to do. Chuck make a great point. They're getting good. Dude, shots. pass the ball. Knock him down. He's going to pass the ball right here. <laughs> Rotation can't come. He's knocking it down. Look, right here, he's not a go-to guy. Trey, double, triple team. Defense comes. He's just knocking down the shot. No, the Hawks have a chance if they can shoot better than 36% on the floor. The Hawks, I mean, the Celtics are shooting 50%. But I like the way he's, you know, taking advantage of, you know, getting to his spot, making this game real nice. If they can get a better percentage. You know how many times I said that when I was watching the Lakers play or the Phoenix Suns, great teams go, man, if that team was shooting better, they, no. There's a reason y'all were great. There's a reason they're great because teams not going to shoot great against them. They play great defense, make tough shots on them. Even when they're yeah, open, but, but, they're, they're rushing shots. Yeah, but if, if you speed the tempo up, you'll get easier shots. That's the difference. Because in it, the NBA teams are so good in a half court defensively. The best fast breaks – and why that's the best way to get easier baskets. Everybody's good defensively in the half court. But you still got to knock them down, especially. On yes, you got to knock them down. Yeah, but you, 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 you got to get home. easier baskets, though. 65-53. That's your halftime score. Celtics on top by 12. Social, what you got? Live picture of Kenny, according to Smoke Ernie, after feeding him. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> salmon. Throw some barbecue on that thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. You know <laughs> Kenny well, Andrew. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, <laughs> I, you know I don't run with yeah. shoes, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew, have you ever seen me no, run with no, shoes? No, no, that's exactly no, a perfect what you way. Got okay, I'm no, going to do Yeah, this was a jackrabbit oh, start no. there. Shaq. I'm not even. You were right. No. He, and that's a, you know the thing? He quits when he loses, yeah. too. Yeah, all the time. Ain't nobody likes a quitter, quitter. New Yorkers. 
I'm not running. Did he touch the board? Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go back and touch it. <laughs> he touched the board. Uh, You're watching the American Express Halftime Report. American Express. Don't live life without it.